Japan is an extremely beautiful country, and as it is an island, it's home to many creatures that can't be found anywhere else in the world. Japan is a relatively safe and extremely interesting place, and it's renowned for its history, its culture, and its wildlife. Many Japanese animals are known for being very cute and fearless, but some can be very dangerous and even deadly. In today's video, I will be going through some of Japan's deadliest creatures, and we'll start off with the Japanese boar. The Japanese boar is a subspecies of wild boar, and it's native to all of Japan apart from Hokkaido and the smaller southern islands. Compared to other wild boar populations, it is relatively small, and it's also completely maneless. This mammal has always been a part of Japanese culture, and it's usually seen as a fearsome or reckless animal. They appeared on 10 yen notes during the Meiji period, and it was once believed that a man could become wealthy by keeping a clump of boar hair in his wallet. They have appeared in Japanese poetry and in works of art, but if you disrespect this animal, it can become deadly. On the main islands of Japan, the Japanese boar has very few natural predators. This animal was once hunted by the Japanese wolf, but this animal was thought to have gone extinct in the early 1900s. And even though the Japanese black bear will take down some individuals, it is mostly a herbivorous species. In some areas, man is its only predator, and this has meant that its numbers have been increasing at an astonishing rate. In Fukushima, after the nuclear disaster in 2011, Japanese boar completely took over. They started hybridizing with domesticated pigs, and they created boar-pig hybrids. A similar situation has happened over in Canada, and these boar-pig hybrids are very destructive. They can destroy crops and infrastructure, and if they feel threatened, they can be extremely dangerous. The number of Japanese boar attacks on humans have been skyrocketing in recent years, but thankfully the vast majority of these attacks are not fatal. From the years 2016 to 2018, Japanese boar caused 141 injuries, but luckily only one fatality. It's feared that these attacks could become more common with the increase in Japanese boar populations, and some people have suggested reintroducing wolves. The wolves would help to control the Japanese boar population, but the majority of people in Japan oppose this suggestion. So even though Japanese boar attacks on humans are rarely fatal, they're fit for number 5 on this list. The next Japanese creature we will be taking a look at is the Japanese black bear. The Japanese black bear is a subspecies of the Asian black bear, and it can be found on both Honshu and Shikoku. There are an estimated 10,000 black bears living in Japan, but the population of black bears on Shikoku is very small. As I've already covered, these bears are mostly herbivorous, but they will sometimes prey on medium to large sized animals, such as the Japanese sero, the Japanese boar, and seeker deer. The Japanese black bear is also a great guardian of the Japanese ecosystem, as it will prey on many invasive species such as the koipu. Unfortunately, these guardians are threatened today, as they are a victim of habitat destruction and poaching. Bear parts can be sold on the black market for a high price, and this has led to massive declines in some areas. In the majority of cases, Japanese black bears will try and avoid areas with humans, but sometimes they are drawn in by our abundance of food. These bears will sometimes raid farms for crops, and larger specimens will sometimes take livestock. Japanese black bears aren't the largest black bears in the world, as they usually weigh around 60 to 120 kilograms. Even though they are relatively small bears, they are still quite dangerous, as they're renowned for their short tempers. Each year, they injure around 10 to 20 people, and they kill around one or two. Most attacks happen in areas where they have lost their fear of humans, but once again, thankfully, these attacks are rarely fatal. So even though these bears have the potential to be deadly, they are not the deadliest bears in Japan. The next Japanese creature we will be taking a look at is another bear, and it goes by the name of the Azuri brown bear. The Azuri brown bear is a subspecies of brown bear, and it is one of the largest brown bears in the world. They can approach the size of the Kodiak bear, and some individuals can weigh as much as 550 kilograms. Like most bears, the Azuri brown bear is omnivorous, and they feed on a variety of plants, fish, insects, and large mammals. In Japan, this bear is only found in Hokkaido, and this is Japan's northernmost main island. 
Even though attacks on humans have been increasing in recent years, brown bear attacks on humans in Japan are far less frequent than they used to be. In Hokkaido, during the first 57 years of the 20th century, 141 people died from bear attacks. In 1915, there was the famous Sankabetsu brown bear incident. And if you're afraid of bears, I wouldn't look into this story. It was the worst bear attack in Japanese history, and it resulted in the deaths of seven people. Thankfully, attacks on this scale are unheard of nowadays, but there have been a few famous fatal attacks this year. On average, in Japan, brown bears kill around three to four people a year, and this means that they are the deadliest wild mammal in Japan. The next Japanese creature we will be taking a look at is the Japanese moccasin. The Japanese moccasin is a venomous pit viper that's only found in Japan. This species, along with the tiger keelback and the habu, are Japan's most venomous snakes. Yet the Japanese moccasin seems to bite more people than the other two species. These snakes max out at around 90 centimeters long, and they're usually found in swamps, marshes, and open woodlands. They perfectly blend in with leaf litter, and they mostly feed on rodents, birds, lizards, and insects. They are often found around areas of farmland, as farmland often entices large numbers of rodents. As these snakes are so well camouflaged, it can be easy to step on one, and this is how most bites occur. Every year, around 2,000 to 3,000 people are bitten by this snake in Japan, and these bites require hospital treatment. There is an effective anti-venom for this snake's bite, but if you're unlucky, this snake's venom can cause kidney failure. Each year, approximately 10 people die from this snake's bite, and this means that the Japanese moccasin is the deadliest reptile in Japan. The final Japanese creature we will be taking a look at is the Asian giant hornet. This species is also referred to as the Japanese giant hornet, and it is the world's largest hornet species. It can be found over large parts of East and Southeast Asia, and famously it made its way over to North America in 2019. This hornet reaches a maximum size of around 5 centimeters, and it has a stinger that's around 6 millimeters long. This stinger can inject a potent venom, but in the vast majority of cases, this sting is not fatal. Its sting is said to feel like a hot nail being pushed into your flesh, but single stings are usually only fatal for those who are allergic to its venom. If you are stung by a few hornets at once, you can get a fatal dose of their venom, and this is the case even if you aren't allergic. You're far more likely to get stung by a giant Asian hornet than you are to run into a bear, and this is why they are far more deadly. Every year, in Japan, around 50 people are killed by giant Asian hornets, and this means that they are the deadliest creatures in Japan. If you think there are any other creatures that could have made it into this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.